Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're inside Road Reality Headquarters, and we've got a new toy to play with. You see, this laptop is three and a half years old, has a hardware fault, which if you're following the channel, it was one of the first videos I did reviewing this laptop cooler. But I need more memory, more storage, more speed, more graphics, you name it. So I did a bunch of research and I went to my local computer place and I picked up this. It's an MSI GE75 Raider. And we're gonna unbox it today. Supposedly this is a gaming PC, which means it ought to do well for uh, video editing. But at the same time, it also has 32 gigs of RAM and some sort of processor. I'll throw a card up here for that. Uh, it's got a bunch of nice specs and it was under two grand. So I'm pretty happy about that. We get to open the box. So take a look. Ta-da, cardboard. All right, throw that away, put the laptop down. Is there anything in there? No, nothing in there. Stop, we're here to help. Ooh. Look how slim that is. All right, let's set that there. So it's got a plastic bag here, and inside that is a nice fabric bag. And inside that, the laptop itself. Look how thin that is, wow. This makes my HP look positively huge. And it's got a protector there. I can ditch that. It's got the Dragon logo with a protector on that. We'll, we'll take care of that too. On the bottom, you can see some cooling intakes. On each side, we have fan outlets. So this is the right hand side. You got an SD card slot, two USB A's, power adapter. On this side, we've got headphones, microphone, USB-C, and then another USB A type, HDMI, whatever that display port I think is, LAN, and then some sort of other lock, I guess. And then on the back, it says Raider. It's got a couple more fan outlets. The other things in the box are going to be a manual and some piece. Aha! The power brake. So yeah, that's it. Let's get it uh, fired up. It's silent. That is so weird. I hear the laptop cooler more than I hear this new laptop. From all the reviews I did, this is supposed to be a pretty loud laptop, but I have bad hearing and there's plenty of ambient noise in this room anyway. So we're not gonna worry about it too much. Touchpad is nice. I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. Do you see the keyboard? Your keyboard is set to That's US. So wild. Wanna stick with that? Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Now let's get you connected to a network. Never used voice commands to, to set up a computer before. How silly is this? I think Scotty from Star Trek Next would have a field day with this. Stuff. In short, want to set up a pin? <sighs> I don't, but I will. This is kind of silly. Let's skip ahead to where it's actually running. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? No. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. She's rather annoying, don't you think? Check out this keyboard. You can program each key to have a different backlight color. That's pretty awesome. That's scary. That's my background image. I never uploaded that anywhere. Well, folks, looks like we're all set up. Now we need to install some video editing software, don't we? Okay, so I've been playing with the new laptop for a couple of hours, and this is what I'm getting. If you can see that, it's like 15 to 18 frames a second. 
And this is rendering at 4K. I have it currently set to medium performance and auto cooling for the fans. They're kind of loud. You can probably hear it there. But yeah, this thing is rendering at like five times the speed it was on my old computer. That's just, that's awesome. So I got some more tests to run, but this thing is pretty quick. I'm pretty happy with it. It was easy to set up. Um, I've got the temperature monitor down here. I don't know if you can see that, but that temperature monitor there is keeping track of the CPU temperature. The bar next to it is showing off the CPU usage. DaVinci Resolve is using about eight or nine gigs of memory and the temperature is at 80, which is why I set it to medium performance. If I set it to high or turbo, it gets up into the 90s and that's degrees Celsius, of course. And that's just a little higher than I want to see. You can see here, I've turned it up to turbo performance. And if you can read that, it's reading 91, 92. And there it says turbo. And then when I drop that down to high, it stops rendering at 18 to 21 and it starts rendering at 15 to 18. And you can see the temperature is still pretty high there, 92, 93. But then when I go down to medium, boom, drops down into the 80s. And the, the rendering frames go to 15 to 18 per second. So anyway, I've got DaVinci Resolve 16 set up on it. Wasn't willing to go to 17 yet. It's still in beta, but when they release the final version, oh, you can bet I'm gonna upgrade to that. But yeah, this is a neat computer. I like it.